Come here, look. Look down here. No, closer. Down, down, look. Look at all this. You know, it's not always been 3D printing in grey plastic. Back in the day, it used to be metal and, um, well, in some cases, lead, but we won't talk about that. But yes, many moons ago, when I was a little boy and uh, everything was in black and white, we spent many hours painting these and uh, watching the paint then chip off. And so, in a new ongoing series that, well, to be honest, no one's really asked for, I'm going to take one of these metal miniatures, paint them up, and give them a new home. And we have a baked bean tin. Hello, everybody. First off, health and safety. As you can see, I've not taken any of that into account. If you do copy this, please do be careful. Here's the obligatory frame. Rip that apart. Okay, we need to measure out some foam now. You'll see why later. So there's me measuring. Look, I can count up to 10 on a good day. With the lines measured, I can use some sort of scribing tool to draw these lines and start creating a brick effect. It took me a while, as you can see, so I've sped it up for your pleasure and convenience. But yeah, that looks like bricks to me. I just need to stick this in place. You guessed it, super glue. A bit too much super glue, but got it off in the end. Okay, now we need to mark up the hole. Cut this through. Nice little pizza there, it's making me hungry. I think that's tea tonight. Pineapple on pizza. More of a sort of a pepperoni and cheese man myself, but hey, that's one for another video. Get a bit of super glue on there. Stick it in place. Get some more tubes now. These are actually the insides of poo bags. So you can thank Winnie for this. Uh, that's my dog. Find her on Instagram with me. Spaghetti, just like the mom I used to make. Uh, I split this up, ripped it apart, broke it up into little bits and super glued it in place. I'm hoping when painted, this will look like pipes, but hey, let's see. More super glue now. I'm outside in the fresh air. Oof. Sprinkle a bit of dirt on and down below, make it look like it's a nice grimy sewer effect on this, uh, on this pipe. Okay, now the old spray in, so some grey undercoat. That's going to form the base colour of all this, so get it on. Look at that, beautiful. Aha, this is a miniature in question. So it's an old metal miniature from the Games Workshop range, and it's the Rat Assassin. Right, so quick paint interlude here. So base coat of white, and then I just painted it, so here we go, chill out, watch me paint the back of a cloak, which you'll never see when it's in the diorama because it's facing away from us into a wall. And there it is. Not the best job I've ever done, but not the worst. So he'll do, or she. Right, come on then, let's get going. Dry brush in. You guessed it, my favorite. Get a bit of a white dry brush on there, pick out all the detail. And then when I layer up some paint after, it'll make it look a lot better. Stick a bit on the tin. You can see why I've used tin. It actually looks like a pipe, I think. Keep dry brushing using the old makeup brush there. So no more foundation on for me today. And then paint this inner bit where the miniature is gonna be stood white. Okay, and now we're on to painting the bricks. So keeping it loose and free here, so a base coat of grey, wet blend in various greys going on. Basically it's bricks in the sewer, so they're not going to be the best workmanship ever, so blends into my style quite well. And now a bit of a darker grey, pick out some of these individual bricks, hopefully they'll stand out a little bit more. And onto the pipes, so a base coat of bronze. 
And then silver on this one, that's the spaghetti, don't forget. And then on the outer rim of the tin, just to try and make it ping a little bit more. And now we're washing, so a big dirty wash of all various reds and blacks and browns all over here. I haven't got to be neat, get it all on. And there's a base done of the washes. Now we're going to go into a bit more detail. So a light watered down brown here over the dirt. Dabbing it in, picking it out. We haven't got to be too neat. Around the rim of a tin. And then these poo bag pipes, which hopefully look like metal and not cardboard. And then on the edge of this rim here, so again, a lot of rimming going on. Um, well, yeah, shouldn't really say rimming, but you know what I mean. Another wash here now. And that's all the washing done, all the base coat layering done. Not too bad. Here we go. Green wash now with a bit of mixing Reichland and known oil. Get this all over the bricks. We haven't got to be neat. Mix it all in. This is why I was never a bricklayer. And again, all the base washes are pretty much done now. Just a bit more black in there. Up the pipes, this is. Over the metallics now, try and delve them down a bit. We don't want to stand out too much. They are actually underground, of course. Never green, hopefully this will make it a bit more grimy, a bit more sludgy, a bit more like a sewer. And back onto the old tin. So again, just drawing the lines of green in on there. As you can see, I'm not being too neat, but I think it all adds to the effect. Back to rimming. This is a very rimming heavy video here. So um, hopefully that won't get picked up in the, in the algorithm. And there we go. Ah uh, yes, the slime effect. In truth, this is probably a little bit too green and in future I might try and water it down. But as you can see, going around the rim of the, stop saying rim for God's sake, going around the outer edge of the tin and the pipes. Now a quick dry brush once everything's dry. On the outer edge of the tin again. Trying to pick out the detail. The plan is the guy's going to be stood on there. All right, this is a nice, insanely metallic metal. So again, we're going to be dry brushing the outer edge of the tin and the pipes. Just picking out a little bit of detail here. Avoiding those skulls. They're not Necrons or robots or, uh, I don't know, the Terminator. And there we go. It's not a million miles away in truth. This guy's an idiot. He's an absolute idiot. I can hear you all saying it out there. Yes, I've sort of messed this one up and I've got the order wrong, believe it or not. What I should have done was put the miniature in place first, built a little bit of scenery around him and taken it apart, painted it all up separately and then put it back together. I didn't do that. So, um, well, let's see how I get out of this mess. So yes, like a total idiot, I've sort of got this oh, the wrong way round. So I've had to sort of fit this after, shouldn't have painted him. And then now I'm using a bit of filler just to fill in the gaps where his feet are. And then trying to blend it in with the rest of the scenery. This is just a very light watered down brown and a bit of a wash. Hopefully you won't see the join. Ah yes, a bit of a contrast here, scorpion green. This is meant to be this warped glow stuff that the Skaven use, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully that'll work. The last thing to do now is just to complete the back of this diorama. Bit of cardboard, fix them together, stick it on a back, wash it in, blend it in so it doesn't stick out too much. And I think we'll call that job done. Well, as my nan once said to me, it's amazing what you can do with a baked bean tin. I don't really know what she was on about, but I'm sure she had a point. Um, I think we'll call that one done. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like, subscribe and everything else. You can also find me on Instagram, so say hello on there. And then on OnlyFans, not yet, but hey, maybe in the future. But other than that, all that's left is the final reveal.